am, I would have already been at that 10. And, and so I just look back at that as like, man, there was just so much of a window of loss potential by not being there. And um, I mean, I, I look at things as like potential, like how much potential do I have and what can I add into my life, add into my abilities, into my knowledge that is going to increase that potential. And Bam Jam is one of those things. Oh, welcome back, man. What's up? What's up? What's up, dude? So super excited to have you back on here. So just to give us a little recap of your story real quick, because I know you didn't make Bam Jam last year, right? Nope. So, no, I, would, I didn't make the Bam Jam. I, I came in right as it was happening. Yep. And so you made that decision back then of like, hey, I, 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 I don't really know what this is. Or I think I think the tickets were sold out by the time you probably got it. Yeah, right? yeah, so they tickets were. tickets were sold out. You ended up missing it. But you still got in. You used some of the resources like, you jumped in, you jumped into, uh, uh, OGS, right? Yeah. I jumped into OGS in December, took that massive action. Of course, you know, I was, I, you know, if you heard my story the other night, it, it was just like, I was trying to do everything the right way instead of just taking a lot of action. So when I kind of got out of my own way, uh, just kind of, I was in there with Anthony, we were kind of doing the same thing just in our own ways and, and, uh, you know, just moved a lot, a lot forward from that. Yeah, so there, there's a huge thing to be said. And as you guys know, we're not just holding OGS for everybody. So anybody that gets in, pays in full real quick, or they jump into VIP or inner circle, they're going to get the next OGS. And it's very, it's a smaller group. So it's not even as big as the one Paul went through. But look at how much impact it had on you, right? And really, like, what are you trying to get? Because, like, let's keep it real. If you were at the last Bam Jam last year i already know your business is already doing good what are you at eleven thousand or twelve thousand dollars a month right now i'm right at 10 still 10? but, okay, so but, I, but I guarantee you if, a month. yeah if i was at the last man jam i would have already been at that 10 and and so i just look back at that as like man there was just so much of a window of lost potential by not being there and um i mean I, I look at things as like potential, like how much potential do I have and what can I add into my life, add into my abilities, into my knowledge that is going to increase that potential. And Bam Jam is one of those things. So it's just, you've got to go there. You've got to, to look at, you know, just how much do you want to grow and, and doing the things that, that's going to help you do that. Yeah. So I'm excited to have you out there. I'm excited to have you on the stage. I'm excited to watch you impact because once again, you're one of those guys that's constantly doing that even now. Like you're you're reaching out, zooming with people, helping people, giving them advice, like showing them that get out yeah. of your own way. Take the steps, right? Like take the action necessary to change your life. You can't change your life doing the same shit that you've been doing before, right? No, you can't no, change you can't. your life by overthinking every little thing. You've got to act. You've got to pull the trigger. You've got to trust and believe in yourself, right? Exactly. And so exactly. I'm excited to have you up on the stage as well. Um, but we have, we have another minute or two here. So any other piece of advice you'd give these people that are sitting on the fence, maybe they're like getting ready to buy a ticket, but they don't know if they should buy a ticket. Like what piece of advice? Cause you haven't even been in here a full year yet, um, yeah. but what, if you're already at $10,000 a month, what piece of advice would you give these guys? It's, it's kind of another piece of the puzzle. I mean, take the massive action. This is another piece of the massive action. Go out there rub shoulders with everybody, get to know them. Um, you're going to gain knowledge. I mean, we've said that all night. There's going to be nuggets dropped. I think there's going to be gold bars dropped. And you're going to rub shoulders with people that are going to be able to help you out. You're going to learn some new things from them. And then I'm excited about meeting all of the new people that are coming in because, you know, it's exciting for me to, to meet all, of the, all these guys that are doing so much more than I can. But I'm looking at, you know, how, how can I help the next guy level up a little bit? How can I help the next guy just push forward and, and not make some of the stumbling um, things that I did? So um, it's exciting. It's exciting for everybody that's having success. It's exciting for um, just all the knowledge that's going to be dropped. So perfect. Well, thank you for jumping on here with me tonight. Excited to see you out at the group. Excited to watch your growth, dude. I already know the second you start rubbing shoulders with these people that you're about to meet out there, dude, your business just going to fly because you've got everything else under control. Without yep. sales, you don't have business and you have sales, right? Yep. 
And you yep. weren't even a sales guy. You were like more of a tech guy. And you like, you're like the processes that are here, like not even selling. Right. And so oh, yeah. jumped in, put those to work for you and really fucking zero to $10,000 a month in nine months, eight months. Yeah. You know what I mean? So super cool. Love your story. Amazing. Excited to watch your impact over the next few years in this group. Thank you, Paul. Okay.